Hello guys, welcome to Big Engineers. I'm Shovik. In this video, I'll be making a webcam server maze using Raspberry Pi, where two or more USB webcams will be attached to the Pi and that will be connected to the internet. So you can view the webcam feeds over internet to anywhere in the world, also in our local network. It will also have a motion detection algorithm built in so it can record and save the video feed on its storage whenever uh, any motion is detected on the frame. If you can recall, I have also made this kind of video some years ago, but that project is a little different. The process is different, the end result will be same. That is a little complicated and time consuming. This is a completely different process. Here I'll be using the Motion iOS operating system that is specifically built for this kind of purpose. So that's it. Without further ado, let's start this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we put up a new video. To make the project you need a Raspberry Pi obviously, I'll be using a Raspberry Pi 3, any older version will work also. After that you need USB webcams, as I am creating a mesh then you need two or more webcams. Uh, I will be using USB webcams but you can use Pi cams also but you can attach only one Pi cam to Raspberry Pi at once so you have to take care of that. Then you need a SD card, in this case the bigger the better it is because you have to store the video feed also on the SD card. After that you need a power adapter that can supply 2 ampere current at 5 volt. The power adapter has to supply around 2 amps current because this project will be kind of a power consuming so any normal non-branded power supply will not work in this project that well. So to start this project first of all insert the SD card into the SD card reader and put that in the computer. Now you have to format the SD card in FAT32 format. For that you have to install the SD card formatter software. I will be throwing the link in the description box below. Download that. And after that you have to download the operating system. So follow the link I will give in the description box below also. So that will be around 50 MB file. Download that and extract that to any of your computer location. In that folder you will find the IMG file that will be the operating system always and then you need to put the operating system on the SD card. So for that you need Win32 Disk Imager. Open up Win32 Disk Imager and select the proper drive. Select the image file that is the IMG file that I just showed you and then select the proper drive. Keep in mind the drive has to be correct. If you put the wrong drive there the drive will be corrupted and your whole system data will be gone I guess. And after that click on write. So it will write the whole thing on the SD card. Once the writing is completed, there might, might be some pop-ups on the window saying you the drive is corrupted, format it or something like that. So don't care about that. Now open the SD card. There you have to enable the SSH. So to enable the SSH, you have to do, you have to just put an empty text file, uh, but rename the text file as SSH in small. That will enable the SSH for connection by default whenever you will be powering up the Pi for the first time. After that you need to enable the Wi-Fi connections and have to, we have to provide the correct credentials to connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, download the file, I will be giving the file in the description box below. Download the file and edit the file with a notepad or notepad plus plus whatever you have. Uh, change the credential of your Wi-Fi settings and paste that to there. Change your country code. The country code for me is IN because I live in India and then save it. The name will be wp underscore supplicant.conf and copy the whole file and paste that in this directory where the SSH is already there. After that, what you have to do, remove the SD card and put the SD card in the Raspberry Pi. Now insert two USB cameras on any two USB ports of the Raspberry Pi. If you have to connect a RJ45 cable, then connect it. And after that, power up the Raspberry Pi with the correct power adapter of 5V. For the first time, it will take some time to connect to the Wi-Fi automatically. After one or two minutes, you have to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. For this, there are kind of many methods you can use. First of all, you can go to the default gateway of your router. But most of the cases, there will be an option named LAN settings or LAN setup. In that page, you can see all the devices that are connected to the network. So you can see the name MI that is the motion i that is the raspberry pi here and you can also see the ip address beside it and in this case it is 192.68.0.103 but you have to keep in mind the ip address that is shown here that is the this ip address has to be a static ip address once it is done open up a browser and put the ip address in the address bar and click enter 
wait for some time the videos will be loading and yeah, now you can see already you can see the two webcam feeds that are coming from the Raspberry Pi over the internet to your laptop. Now to get started you have to log into the Motion IE portal. Now for the first time the username will be admin, the password will be blank. But once you log in and you do all the settings after that you better change it because it's obviously a privacy issue it comes here. Click on the dash button on the upper left corner that will bring up the settings of each camera. There you can see camera 1 and the other camera will be camera 2. From there you can change all the settings. There is a lot of settings to play with but first of all you have to click on the advanced settings. You have to own the settings otherwise the no settings will be visible to you. Now you can see all the settings that is available to us to change. You can change the user ad, username password from there. Also you can check the current firmware, the software part. If, you, the, if there is any update you can update the whole system. Then you then we have to select the proper time zone. I live in India, Kolkata, so I'll be selecting that. And keep in mind that we have to keep the current time zone. You have to pick the correct time zone because the time will be reflecting on the video feed. You can go to the network settings also. In the network settings, you can see the wireless network that is it is that it is connected to the network key is also there. Then you can go to expert setting. In the expert setting, you can see the HTTP port where it will be streaming the whole thing. Also, this thing is not that important. In the video device, you can change the uh, video resolution. For me, it is a HD camera, so I'll be putting the correct resolution in that is the 2080, sorry, 1280 cross 720. You can keep the resolution low if you want a better performance or frame. If you change the video resolution or if you change the frame rate, it will ask you to reboot the whole system so click ok and the whole system will reboot after successful reboot you will see the video resolution has changed and also the frame rate has changed the video is a lot smoother now now you can also change the, the whole settings the same kind of settings for camera 2 also here you can see the motion detection menu is there uh, you can change the frame change threshold by which the Raspberry Pi will know if there is any motion in the frame or the video or not you can also change the auto noise detection that is by default on and I will recommend it to keep it at, keep it as on. There is a lot of settings to play with in this OS but I will not go into the depth of every settings because the names is pretty much says explanatory to give you the hint what it does. So play with them and make it a good sweet spot for your camera or your environment to work. Also you can see the red color box here that will that denotes that there is some motion and it will be saving the file in the SD card but for us the most important thing I guess the video streaming because here we can see the streaming port and the streaming URL that we need to view the webcam feed in our browser so copy the whole thing and paste in a new tab on your browser and you can see the webcam video feed in a full page format for the first camera also you can see the same thing with the new tab now to put the stream online so that you can see from anywhere on the world you have to port for you have to do some port forwarding now this port forwarding part kind of uh, hit and miss for many kind of routers the settings are different the menu system is different but most probably there will be a name like port forwarding or virtual servers these type of settings you can see on the router page you have to do it there put on the uh, Raspberry Pi address as their computer name or the you have to put the application name as something then put the public port and the private port uh, you have to change the traffic type to any type maybe TCP or UDP uh, this kind this thing you have to do by your own because I can't help you in this so better you do some research on internet how to port for and put the model name for router and the head of that at the end of that when search that on google maybe there will be some tutorial to guide you there so after you do that then you can view the whole stream from anywhere that's like if you can see here i am putting a different ip ip address that is my public ip address on the new tab with the correct port number that is 8081 and that is directing me to the video feed that is coming from the camera one also same goes for the camera 2 I am putting my public IP and then the port number for the camera 2 and that is directing me to the video feed of the webcam number 2. 
So that's how you can create a webcam maze here using Raspberry Pi and the Motion iOS operating system. I hope you have liked this project and you have found this useful. If yes, then please do like this video and comment anything if you want to tell us or if you have any suggestion, then put down below. We'll be pretty much happy to help you and take some advice from you also. Subscribe to this channel if you are new and follow us on our social media links. All the links are given in the description box below. You can check them out. So I'll be catching up with you in the next video of ours. Till then bye and take care.